inspired by tribal looks. You can see the Chris Van Ash. They actually shaved the tribal look into people's hair. Um, that's bottom right. But we're seeing other examples here from Unif, from Buffalo back in the day. And also Vetmont has killed this look as well. And then hardware, looking at very subversive hardware, like I mentioned earlier, big chunky straps and buckles and belts and poppers. Really, it's very much about rave pant inspiration, which is more is more. And then as far as wash and surface and color is concerned, I'm loving all of these airbrushed and photo real extreme DIY looks. To me, this middle image is very reminiscent of a kind of old rave flyer, which is absolutely perfect. So get inspired by old 90s sort of rave flyers and artworks and, and typographies and all of that stuff. So very kind of DIY attitude here. So to sum up this story, we have the key items and looks. We have the rave dress. We've got the bondage jean, the sporty mini, the remade jacket, the raggedy jean, the bleach splash culotte, the tearaway jean, the airbrush chucker, the graffiti boot cut. And then thinking about things like upcycled, upsized and tribal tattoos. And so the examples here, as you can see, we have the rave dress from Topshop in a brilliant camo there. The bondage jean from Olivier O'Blanc. We have the raggedy jean from R13 and the sporty mini from Topshop. And grunge styling courtesy of Needles, Japanese brand. And the remade sort of zip through jacket here from Kuro Japan. And the next page, we've got this beautiful remade look from Vinti Andrews, who I've mentioned earlier. We have the bleach splash from Marco Zalmeida, the sporty hybrid jean from Filet Papa, this brilliant airbrush jacket from Topman, and the graffiti jean from R13. So the final story is called Altitude. And for those of you who were here last season, uh, I know that I talked about dad styling quite a bit, this sensible dad styling and what we call gorp core. So it's taking this story and moving on for the season through this more streetwear lens. So it has that dad attitude of previous seasons, but it's cooler, it's younger, and it's more colorful. Altitude takes inspiration from snowboarding, from extreme sports, and retro outdoors wear is really, really important in here. So it's ironic, and there's a lot of 90s streetwear people pieces in here as well and there's also a little bit of workwear in here and performance items as well so as far as mood is concerned referencing 90s hip-hop as well as cult brands from the decade including Ralph Lauren's snow beach line are really important and this unisex look features practical built to last garments as well I think that's really important in here Bib and Brace makes a return in the form of salopet inspired styles with utility and cargo pants also key so the color palette is really, really fun. So we have our kind of like mid blues. But we also have these sort of sportswear blues. But then I'm loving, we've got these kind of very sort of 80s active wear inspired looks. So we have the gray called Drizzle and the, the really bright like limeade shade here. We have also the teal, which is a very classic kind of 80s sportswear look as well. As far as research and reference is concerned, one of the ones that really makes me laugh, for those who don't know It's May Memes, definitely check her out. She's actually only 16 years old and she lives in Hawaii and she takes images from the internet of people like Lucas Sabat and Tyler the Creator and ASAP Rocky and then pumps up their jackets so makes giant jackets or giant sneakers so she's sort of very much playing with volume it's a very fun Instagram to follow but it also kind of sums up this story quite nicely other examples here the Balenciaga tracksuits are really important opening ceremony and Columbia Outdoors brand collaboration is really important in here Martine Rose is another designer to watch in here as well a few more examples on the next page. I mentioned the Snow Beach by Ralph Lauren 25th anniversary. That was really interesting. They re-released this particular popover item and it sold out in a matter of hours, which is really fun. Looking at vintage Carhartt in here. Also, the Acne Studios Blarcon's denim line is worth looking at in here as well. Oh, another one worth mentioning. I love Very Advanced. Very Advanced is another Instagram feed. It's very 80s and 90s inspired hip hop. So it's all inspirational images from back in the day. As far as styling is concerned, nodding to this bygone era when practicality and comfort ruled over style, this story sees the coolest streetwear brands take the dad attitude to a whole new level. 
and as far as retro sport is concerned,